Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to share with you guys what is on my summer seasonal wrap. I am still pulling as of today. I was still pulling, kind of filtering through. But I think for the most part, it's done. In my summer picks video, I shared with you guys what the trends are. I usually base a lot of these, you know, my decisions off of trend pages online. I just Google summer nail polish, color trends, or whatever of whatever the season is, whatever that year is, and then just kind of pull from my already existing collection, anything that comes remotely close, if for some reason I did not buy it. So this season, Pops of Corals are on trend, playful pinks, all things citrus, you're talking oranges, um, yellows, and greens. Creamy lavenders, um, I went for, oh, I have a lavender here, but I also pulled lilac. Uh, poolside blues, you're talking navy blues, or like your cobalt blues, like your Pacific blue, right? I've even seen some that are a little bit even more dusty than that. Um, barely their neutrals, so the nudes, and then like the sheer pink polishes. Using a lot of those for uh, French tip designs, nail art, things like that. That looks really cool. And then the classic rouge, which is your red. All right, so let me get started and let me show you up here because the top rack here is full of neutrals and <laughs> nudes and metallics. I'm very much into metallics since last year. I've been obsessed with metallics and I cannot stop myself. So let me start off with this nude. I'm going to do it a little bit different. Usually I flip the camera over or whatever, but I'm going to do it face forward this time around. This nude is kind of um, reminiscent to the scattered holographic. It's not a scattered holographic, but it is a nude holographic. They don't make this one anymore, but if you're looking for a nude holographic is what I'm trying to say. My God. <laughs> Zoya has um, a nude scattered holographic within their scattered hollow lineup, I think. They still have it available, available, I'm pretty sure. I don't have that one, but I do have Nirvana from Bliss Polish. This was gifted to me a long time ago, and I love it. It is such a flattering nude, and the holographic is super delicate on the nails. This one usually takes two coats. One of my favorite rose golds, this is Lucid Dream from Orly. I did bring out Rage because if you love Rage, you can bring that one out. But I'm seeing a lot of um, not just metallic nails, but also metallic French tips. That's pretty cool. This one, though, compared to Rage from to me, is warmer. This is Lucid Dream. And this is Rage. Let me show you. Maybe you can see a little bit more of the ready tones here in Lucid Dream. It's just so beautiful. The particles are just different, I feel. And Rage is more rosy. I may get rid of Rage at some point. I don't use it. Um, I have like Supernova, let's say, from Simple Colors that I, um, I just tend to wear more for some reason. This one is new to me. This is called Sweet and Spicy. Anytime I see these metallics from Simple Colors, I buy them because I feel like they just do such a kick-ass job at the metallics. I'm obsessed with their metallics. I have some like smoky silver ones that they they make and they're freaking amazing. So anyways, this is Sweet and Spicy. It's a little bit more rosy. Maybe let me compare it to Rage. I don't know. Almost identical. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Just talked about getting rid of rage and here I go buying this one uh, but here is supernova from simple colors also really really awesome you can see how a much more pink sweet and spicy is compared to it supernova is beautiful though and then a gold a very very warm gold that I have not reached for in a hot minute this is called golden eye and gold bronze anything like that is in for the season and then you can uh, transition it really metallics are I think are great any time of the year for me right now I will wear them any season it doesn't really matter and then this is a pink metallic that has silver uh, shimmers and it's from LA colors it's called pink diamond And you can see the silver shimmer that's visible on the nails as well it kind of breaks up on the nail really nicely it scatters very well this uh copper polish a koki sent sent to me i i'm gonna try it out but i have one that i really really love and i don't see this topping that one but i haven't put this one on my nails yet what i do like though is that this has a crap ton of red in it it's called tan lime from koki and it has a beautiful gold shimmer but 
I have a copper one that I adore. I talked about it in my fall picks. And I mentioned in that video that oftentimes when it comes to copper, bronze type of polishes, I'm super, super selective because more often than not, they'll br almost blend right into my skin tone. So I can't see a visible color on my nails. And when I put polish on, I want to see color, <laughs> color on my nails. Um, and so this one just kind of did it for me. And I'm obsessed with this freaking polish. It's so beautiful. It's called the Bronze Ambition. It is such a red tone copper. It is like a pipe. It's so freaking beautiful. I love this color so much. Um, but here it is next to Koki's. Koki has a lot more red, if you can see, but there's something about Bronze Ambition from Orly that just, I think because it's metallic, this is more shimmery, right? And this is straight up metallic. It looks like a metallic pipe on the nails. It's just so beautiful. And then a couple of nudes here. Let's see. Let's bring out these. Um, let's bring out maybe these two. I brought out uh, Topless and Barefoot from Essie. I currently have this on my toes right now, and it's so beautiful. And then I have Belly Slippers. A bit of a tricky formula because this is not like a cream, like uh, Topless and Barefoot. This is more like a milky type of polish, um, so I find application to be slightly tricky, but the end result is beautiful. It's just the journey is a pain with this polish, um, but it does look great as a manicure, as a pedicure. It's really, really beautiful. So you can see um, Topless and Barefoot has a little bit more brown and slightly bit more pink to where I feel like ballet is a slightly bit like it looks slightly pink, but also slightly como, almost like beigey. But it makes for a great natural manicure not even fully natural because it's very visible against my skin tone it's like not even but it's beautiful and then this one koki also sent to me it's called coffee break um i brought out cafe olay because they had sent me this one previously i broke a toenail i mentioned in my pics video <laughs> and so right now i'm sticking to only nudes neutrals anything of the sort that's not very noticeable on my nails just so that i don't bring too much attention to my funky looking to the moment anyways this is coffee break and this is cafe olay in person this one has a little bit maybe more brown this one almost looks a little bit more even purple next to coffee break right like coffee break has a little bit more pink this is almost like pinky, purpley, brown, and this is, but it's nude on the nails, just an FYI, not taupe. Um, and then this one's just more browny pink. Both so beautiful. Haven't tried this one on the nails though. And then the nude that I'm actually wearing right now, and it's such a beautiful nude. I mentioned this one as part of my collection, um, my new polish, polish collection video a while back. This is called Simply from LA Colors. And two coats for this one on its own, and it's super, super beautiful. This is one of those polishes that will blend almost right into my skin. It's lighter than my skin tone, but um, it almost goes undetected from afar. It's just such a flattering nude compared to, let me put Coffee Break. Look at how much lighter and then more peachy it looks, like um, skin tone-like, I guess. A little bit thinner of a formula, but I can get this opaque at two coats. And then right now I have it on as a base for a nail art design because that's trending at the moment. And it's, I'm obsessed with this manicure, guys. It looks like a freaking decal on my nails. So excuse the drag marks. I did not <laughs> let my design dry before I went in with a freaking top coat and I ruined it. But from afar, I can't see it. It literally looks like I have stickers on my nails. I, oh. I have other videos that I want to record, but I don't want to take this off. I would need to take this off to do like swatches and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> and then another sheer pink polish. This is the cool. Let me compare it to sheer fantasy. I don't think I shared this one. So I have sheer, uh, two sheer polishes that I'm going to focus on this summer. Like I mentioned, um, using these by themselves or as a base for French tip design, or I'm seeing a lot of the trend of the negative space nail art. So I have one that's warmer here. This is Sheer Fantasy. More sheer, I feel, than uh, Confetti from Orly. I had this one on my toes before I had Topless and Barefoot on my toes, and it's amazing. 
it did bring up a little bit more attention than I wanted, to be honest. But it's just so beautiful. I love it. And then any old white, um, doesn't matter the white this year, I'm bringing out Blanc. It's not the best formulated white. I find that uh, Color Club's French tip is the best. Okay, this one is called A Dance With Me from Orly. It's more peachy, like a peachy color with a lot of red undertones in it. Uh, three coats for that one. And then a couple of pinks from Melly Colors. Let me just compare them here. I forget which one I put on my nails, actually. I think it was this one. This is, I think, the one that I have in my design today for my little cheetah print. It's the number 511 from LA Colors, and this is called Electra. So super vibrant a pink that has some blue undertones. And then this one here is called Absolute. I was wearing this previously and it's so beautiful both of these both of these you can find at the dollar tree they still have them available at the store and then a bubblegum pink for morgan taylor this is a cream usually takes about three coats to get opaque on the nails um this dries more to a demi matte finish and it's so beautiful guys uh very comparable to if you have bottoms up right there comparable to it they're not identical but any bubblegum pink will work. And then I have a couple of these smoothie collection uh, polishes that my friend Carolina sent to me from 90 Lacquer. This is called Watermelon Juice. It's a curly with matte black shreds of glitter. This is called um, Hot Pink Tights from Simple Colors. This is a part of their sheer mattes collection. Um, so I plan on using this for a jelly sandwich. It's more rosy, a rose pink. It has a little shimmer, but that shimmer is not really visible on the nails. And then this one, which is called Swoon from 90 Lacquer, it's a holographic, a fuchsia type of polish. And that holographic is visible on the nails. And then this polish I've already worn. This is called a Troublemaker, and it is such a beautiful rose pink with gold shimmer. This was one of my picks for the season because it's so flattering. It is very warm tone and it's so beautiful. I love it. Next up, I have Essie Gojensa and this is the softest, softest purple that I own. I'm pretty sure this one I saw in one of the trending pages. I'm always super happy to see trending pages mention old, old polishes because they don't just encourage new releases, right? They encourage also to pull older polishes. A lot of people, I'm sure, have Kojansa, so um, I, I do appreciate that. And then I have one from Orly, which is more of an orchid type of polish. It's pinky and it's purple. It's very blue toned. And this is called Kaleidoscope Eyes. A bit of a, a sheer uh, formulation, um, like some of, uh, quite a few of the Orly polishes are. So you do require about three coats, but such a, a shocking color, I feel. And so beautiful. This is uh, called Jam Sesh from Sally Hansen, and it is a cream. This is an old one, actually, and this one, too. From OPI, I have uh, Fearlessly Alice and uh, Stranger Tides. So this is more sage grayish-like, and then this is more yellowy green, almost chartreuse. And then these two vibrant greens, I have Troublemaker from Nails Inc. Um, so um, Target started carrying these. I'm going to put it on my nails, but I am going to give this away to my niece, actually, because I have greens like this. I don't, this is one of my, the color drew me in, brought it home, and I'm like, I have so many of these type of colors. I need to, not because this is not good, because it is, the color is super beautiful. So if you don't have a color like this, then I do recommend it because the formula is great. I just have other ones that I should be wearing. Um, and then this one, which is more lime green, and this is called Mint, and it's from LA Colors. This is the type of color that I'm, I'm thinking they mean by citrusy type of color. And then this one, which is very reminiscent to I'm So Swamped from OPI, and this one's from Gucci. 
such a beautiful formula for this one and a beautiful color. If you like I'm So Swamped and you're, I don't know, wanting to splurge, that's a great one. 90 Lacquer Matcha Mint. This is the Crelly, the green version of the, the pink Crelly. If you can see, they all have the black matte shreds of glitter. I friggin' love these. I have Mango Sunrise. That's the one that I ended up buying, and I'm obsessed with that one. I have to stop myself from wearing it because I don't want to run out of it. It's so beautiful. I love it. So I'm looking forward to this one. These are wearing these. And then a mint pastel. This has a lot of white in it. It's from Salon Perfect. And it's a part of the Dipping Dots collection. I really like the Dipping Dots collection from Salon Perfect, by the way. I feel like the opacity and the formulation of them is really, really great. The, the brush doesn't help with the application because it's such a slim brush. And yet it holds a lot of polish. But if you're careful... It just looks super, super awesome on the nails, all of these. Um, I had the pink one, um, I, quite a few of the colors that they had. There's like a neon coral in there. Awesome, awesome formulation. So this is called Cool Mint. So great. Beautiful color. This is the only one that I picked up from the uh, OPI uh, Summer Collection. I had not checked out the collection until actually today I went to Ulta uh, to pick up something. I can't remember now what I wanted to pick up, but... Um, I saw the lineup. I hadn't checked it. I haven't checked out any of the new releases, guys. And I have no interest in <laughs> checking them out. Uh, but anyways, this is called Be Unapologetic. All of the polishes in the lineup had a gold little shimmer. This is the only one I picked up because I found it to be super unique. Um, let me bring out Fearlessly. Not Fearlessly, Alice. I was going to say Fearlessly Fiona. <laughs> It's kind of up to par to Fearlessly Fiona, only that this one has a little gold shimmer. I was this close to getting the bluish teal one with the gold shimmer. It was kind of rem reminiscent to this color right here, only a little deeper. Oh, it was so beautiful. And I literally stopped myself. I was like, dude, I have so many freaking like teal peacocky type of polishes. Uh, I have a microfoil from Starly that I'm obsessed with. Nah. So I put that one back that I did pick this one up because it's so beautiful. It's like a chartreuse green with gold shimmer. It's just amazing. And then let's get into some oranges here. Um, Let's do these two. I have Tangerine Dream from Orly. It's coming off super bleached here, but it's, uh, it has more red in it and it's super vibrant. And then this one, because I haven't worn it in a minute, this is called Plain... No, hold on. What is this called? Soak Up the Sun. Sorry. It is from... Essie, I actually wanted to compare it to this Gucci one, um, and it's called Peggy Sunburn. Because they're almost the same. I um, Peggy Sunburn from Gucci has more red in it. So this is Soak Up the Sun, and this is Peggy Sunburn. This is a beautiful, beautiful color um, on, on the nail. So one from, from Essie. And this one had a great formula, also the one from, from Gucci. I just um, thought I would mention it if in case you guys are on the market for something like that. And then a neon orange. This is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And they no longer make polishes, but this is a beta. It's their neon orange. So any neon orange, well, your popsicle from Orly is great also. I just haven't worn this one in a minute. Two ready orangey polishes. I have Riveting from China Glaze, which is stunning. It's a red, uh, no, orangey red shimmer, and then it has golden shimmers throughout. And then I have this one, which Koki sent to me. It's called Hotline. It is so beautiful. So the particles are different. The particles in Hotline are smaller, as you can see compared to the one from China Glaze. And then these two I already worn. These are kind of amber looking polishes. This is an orange, but it's it has more golden tone compared to Riveting, if you can see. This is Orange You Fierce. Amazing, amazing glowy polish. I loved this. I love this manicure when I wore it. And this is called Preserved in Amber. I put this one thin coat over top of Orange Shoe Fears and that made, I looked like I had an amber stone 
crushed amber stone on my nails, especially at night. My nails glowed constantly, but at night especially, oh my word. I can see myself wearing this with an entire black outfit during the fall, like, amazing. This polish, though, I it, it can get opaque on its own. Whoa. It can get opaque on its own at three coats. I just don't like the buildup of the larger metallic flakes, to be honest. It tends to look bumpy. Not my jam. So I'm going to use it as a topper only. Not, not by itself. This one, actually, someone <laughs> reached out to me on Instagram. I can't remember. Was it Sally? Oh, I can't remember now. I can't remember who reached out to me and reminded me, or they told me what they were wearing on their nails currently, and they reminded me of Copa, Copa Cabana Girl from Salon Perfect. I love the Neon Pop Collection from Salon Perfect. They're so awesome. Um, So it's a neon coral. And let's see. Let's see if it'll focus on my freaking polish it is a neon coral um but it leans a little bit more pink let me compare it to this color club one which is um a new to me it's not new but i haven't worn it this is called one love um pretty sure i found this at walmart it's more orange leaning it's not going to come up accurate because it's throwing off my camera but um you can see the undertones so copacabana girl amazing it leans more pink, and then uh, One Love from Color Club leans more orange. These are the neon corals that I pulled, but I also pulled out these ready um, corally polishes I have here because I haven't worn, <laughs> worn these in a minute. Also, I have Ready to Rave from China Glaze. More like um, salmon, I want to say, and then Papa Don't Peach because Papa Don't Peach has the gold micro glitter this is a dress textured um but i do add like adding a glossy top coat it's just they're so beautiful okay let me pull these two here i have um connect the dots i think this is part of the new collection from yeah from orally it's a red almost salmon also if you have ready to rave you may not need connect the dots to be honest it has more red in it and it is really beautiful it's slightly corally right um i feel like orally has come out with a lot of these coral polishes as of late none of them are the same though but they're ready coral polishes and i also have a fireball it's a neon red and it has a little blue purpley little shimmer it's such a striking red okay two more reds here i have coca-cola red which is a cream and then cuticula this was gifted to me by carolina this is called the blood moon and then let me do these two koki polishes this one i bought at uh, sally's beauty this one koki sent to me this is called glass like Cinderella it's a blue little shimmer it's so pretty and then this one is called intergalactic blurple and gold for intergalactic look at how gorgeous that is moving on to more blues here um this one is more periwinkle a shimmer I picked up the pink one in the lineup and I got rid of it um because it's just not my my gem I did end up wearing it during spring I like the pink particles in that one, but I just didn't, I don't know, it looked a little too, nah. But I haven't tried this one. This one is called You Had Me at Halo. So it was part of the Xbox collection. It is a periwinkle shimmer. And then this one is called, it's from Orally. It's called Rinse and Repeat. It came out just this summer release. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue. I was actually surprised by it. Um, I thought it was going to be very similar to a lot of the blues that I already have, and it's it's not. Um, this one is called It's Brittany Beach. It is a royal blue, and it's so vibrant. And then I have a blue jelly, which is Party Like a Patriot. already wore this one um, sandwiched in with some glitter for 4th of July. Another blue that I pulled out, too more shimmery i have um a frostbite from china glaze 
It's such a striking sapphire blue. And then I pulled out Swimsuit Nailed It from OPI. Because mm, it's not going to come off as reflective. They're two di different types of blues. This is more oceany, I feel. <laughs> has more of like a greeny tone to it. Um, Swimsuit Nailed It from OPI does. So... And then let's get into some of these um, teal colors here. I have Chill Out from uh, Sally Hansen. This is going to be a sheer polish. I've never used this one before, but I often find, do you see that here at the top? I often find that these Sally Hansen polishes, they're really, really beautiful. They're just super, super thin, like ridiculously thin. Yeah, look at that. So we'll see. I don't know. I may use it as a topper but I am gonna try it on its own. I like the little gold flecks that are in here. Um, that looks really, really beautiful, but it's a bummer that they're, you know, super sheer. These two I wanna wear together. Um, I love topping over Watermelon Rind over top of other teal polishes because I feel like they make them look a little bit more glowy. This is called Deviantly Daring. This is Deviantly Daring Particles. You can see it's more teal with the gold and then um, they're finer particles than watermelon rind. You see that? This is just a slightly bit larger. Whenever I have a teal shimmer that just doesn't glow as much, <laughs> just put watermelon rind, it makes everything look better. And then one that I haven't worn in a hot minute is Haley's Comet, I think. Yep. Yeah from Orly. It is a very glowy teal polish. Slightly bit more green in person. It glows a little bit more in person. It's just so friggin' beautiful, this polish. It's uh, from the Orly's FX line back when they still made this line, which was super cool, actually. And then, um, kind of like an aqua color. I actually brought out Dior Splash because it's one of my favorite aquas. To compare because it's still not the same I bought this one thinking maybe it was it's not I can never find the closest to splash from Dior is I need a refreshment from um, from wet and wild which they no longer make but that is the closest that I have ever ever find I just don't have that polish anymore because I finished it a long time ago um, but anyways this is called bright side road I don't have splash on my seasonal rack this season. I pulled this one out, but I bought this one thinking, maybe hoping <laughs> it'd be the same. It's not. This has more green in it, as you can see. I mean, the color is going to be really beautiful, but it's just not the same. Nothing comes close. I'm so sad. This polish, I don't know, man. I... <laughs> I've had it on my seasonal rack since last fall and I don't ever put it on. I don't know what my problem is because I love this polish. As far as I love holographics, right? But I still, I don't know why I don't get it on my nails. This is called She Is So Extraterrestrial from China Glaze. It's the linear holographic that came out in the Halloween collection or fall collection of the whatever. I think it was a, a Halloween collection. It's so beautiful. I don't know why I just... I pull everything else except for that one. And then let me get two polishes uh, for toppers. This is Firecracker from Colores de Carol. I wore this sandwiched in with Ulta's Party Like a Patriot for 4th of July. This is an awesome, awesome jelly sandwich. And this has red, blue, and then the, the um, it has holographic glitter as well. It sparkles so much. It's so beautiful. And then these two have that like little a fairy dust, little bluish um, shimmer. This one, actually. This is called Let Your Twilight Sparkle. This is from a Hello Kitty. No. My Little Pony collection. Um, and this is super, super thin, but it works as a topper as well. Maybe over a black or something like that. I don't have a black on my seasonal rack, but you know, um, definitely black is great for the summer. Also, Lightning in a Bottle from Deborah Lippman. This is the base of it. It's more like a white little pearl. Oh, man. It's not going to show. This lighting is not the best. But you see that little pink shimmer? It's so pretty. It is way stronger in the bottle, and it's strong on the nails as well. It's just a, such a pretty, pretty polish. And then a couple polishes from KB Shimmer. These kind of stay up here. 
I've had now some toppers up here that just don't make it down. They just stay up because I like them so much. Two of which are from KB Shimmer, which is Yes Weekend. It's a multi-chrome flaky topper. Freaking amazing. All of these toppers from KB Shimmer are just awesome. And then I have Off Tropic, which is the rainbow flaky topper. <sighs> I want every single one of these from KB Shimmer, but... Um, some of them look are not they're not the same, but you know, you get like similar color tones with varying uh, slight variations and stuff These are just amazing. I love these toppers from KB Shimmer and then these two this one which is um, I bought at a, my local HEB from um, uh, During Halloween. It's Fright Night from Claw Polish and the name of this is called Fairy Dust It's one of those iridescent little glitter glitters that looks super, super fun and great. This will look, I want to try this over a yellow. I don't have a neon yellow up here because I have one in my project polish and it's Bolt of Light from Color Cup. So I didn't find the need to put another one up here. And this one I saw today when I went to buy, actually when I bought um, the green polish from OPI, I saw this one. This looks so pretty. It has flakes in here. Um... There's purple and like that blue purple little shimmer, but it has little flakes. A trend that I saw a lot is to use these sheer little topper with the shimmer just on naked nails. And you can see the nail line, but you know, that's trending at the moment. So if you're into that kind of look. And then a couple of uh, fun glitter toppers. This kind of stays up on my, my seasonal rep. The KB Shimmer one stays up here. This Claw Polish one stays up here. Just doesn't make its way down. This black and white glitter topper from Sally Hansen. Freaking love it. It's one of my favorite black and white glitter toppers. And this has a black bar glitter, white and black hexes over neons over anything like it's just amazing and then this one's super super fun from uh orly it's called hits the spot it's the um it's like a neon rainbow glitter more neony than actual rainbow but you know what i mean like bleach neon type of glitter so cute and then this one also stays up here if in case I ever want to pull it out, it's called Snow What You Want from Sally Hansen. These are shred, shreds of satin glitters in a clear base from Sally Hansen. This came out in their holiday release. Sparkler send off should not be a surprise. I am obsessed with this polish, guys. Like, I can't <laughs> say it in every video. I just love it so much. Um, it has a strong yellow gold micro glitter and then pink metallic larger hexes. It's just Beautiful as an accent nail, um, topped over one coat, topped over any polish, and it's just amazing. And this is another one that came out in the summer collection from Orly. Um, I thought this was going to be opaque on its own. It's not, though. It is a topper. It's called Just an Illusion. And it is a gold micro glitter, but it looks like it has a very light touch of holographic glitter it's super super faint though either that or i'm seeing things i think it has some silver in here too see that maybe i'm i'm, I'm imagining the rainbow glitter but on my nails i see a, a, a delicate rainbow look this is a from la colors and it's called crystals I love these LA colors from their mermaid line. Pick them all up. They have a blue one. They have a red one. They, uh, they have them all. They're just so, so beautiful. That is everything for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it's on a much longer end of the spectrum here. But I, I hope that you guys found it super inspiring. Let me know down below what you guys are gravitating towards this summer. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.